go live. You are live. It says it says it's a liar, live. liar, pencil fire. Let me get my phone. See that I've got the volume off and the chat up. Live chat. Oh yeah, we got Ingrid and Terry. Hello, hello, and Barbara. Okay, people are coming in. Yep, people are coming in. And there is everybody. My, my other screen. So I think we are actually going on here. We're going on. <laughs> it's been a busy morning. How are you doing, Shell? I'm okay. I just wanted to try um, something out here. Yeah. This thing that Mary Beth does. And every time I see her do it, I think that's so cool. And then I try it, and it never works. So uh, I'm going to try it again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she does some pretty cool stuff. And but, you know, our... the way some people do things and the way we do things are not always the same, are they? That's so how's everybody true. out there in YouTube land? I see Cindy is here. Hi, Cindy. Junk. All right. We've all got junk. Oh, yeah. And, um, packaging. You know, I, I get shipments of things and, you know, stuff from all over the place. And so I've got a lot of cardboard. And I was thinking about, well, you know, what, what can I do with all of this corrugated cardboard? I actually started playing with some yesterday. And um, on our August, uh, what is that called? RC Second Funding Hop. You'll see some more cardboard things up here. So if you've got a lot of cardboard and want to know what to do with it, you can watch that hop. Um, that will be on the 8th. And I am just playing with this piece. I'm, I'm cutting out a circle. I just cut out a circle. This is a plain old shipping box, you know. And I've got another strip here of some cardboard. So you can see I've been cutting out pieces. And mm -hmm. I also have, this is some of that um, packaging, like when you get certain products, like die cuts and things, they have them in these nice heavy-duty plastics. And this is good stuff to use, too. I mean, I like to recycle a lot of stuff. So, you know, I've got this sitting around. I just pull the tags and things off. If you need to, you can use a little bit of undo or something like that on there. But, um, you know, you can cut these into components that you can use in your art. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I've been playing with. So one of the things that I did yesterday is this, okay? As you can see, this is just corrugated cardboard. And I'll show you how to do this. They're all saying, hello, 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 Sybil. Hello, Peggy. Hey, hi, Carla. Well, I kind of took our uh, our idea for today. Uh, the thing said looking forward, and then it said uh, components. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm looking forward, and I need to just use up some of the stuff that I have. Mm -hmm. And I've got I've got baskets like this like this box which has all kinds of pre-cut card stock i've got just stacks and baskets of little weird things like just you know uh, yeah. stuff just everywhere and little bits and pieces and i've been sorting and i've been been you know working on stuff but i thought i would just use up some of this stuff to make cards because i'm gonna have a giveaway next month because Woo! i'm going to reach 20,000 subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was pretty excited about that, so I decided to give away 20 of my stencils like this. This one. Oh, right. And I've already ordered them in anticipation of giving them away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, um, I'm not quite there. I think we're 10 away or something like that. So it's close awesome. enough that I think by the time I announce that, so you guys are getting a little sneak peek. By the time I announce that uh, next month, we will have reached the goal. So Yay. I thought if I need to send out stuff, if I'm going to do a big mailing, I need some cards. And so I decided to just make cards today in anticipation of that. And I wanted to try this watercolor technique with my stencil, so I kind of got distracted by that. But um, it'll end up being a card, of course. <laughs> yeah, It has to because that's just the way things go. But yeah. This I know, I, I have seen them do watercolor with stencil so many times, and my stuff, it always bleeds. It always bleeds right under. Yeah, mine I, too. I probably need the pixie spray or something, but yeah, I'm too lazy to get it out. Well, I don't mind if it bleeds under as long as I can see the components. So I'm just going to... This is just, you know, another experiment, and we're just going to set this aside and let it dry. This is a, a Arteza watercolor card. So I just, I got the paper wet, I put the stencil down on it, and then I just went over it. And I can see, I mean, I can see that it's bleeding around. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, once it's dry, you'll still be able to see the stencil designs. I think the... Uh, the idea behind this technique, and I've seen people do it so many times, particularly Mary Beth, is that you leave it. And you know how hard it is for me to oh, do that? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's, that's oh boy. I'm terrible at that. So maybe you by the end say of the no show. no more. I'm, I'm right there with you. By the end of the show, maybe one can hope that it might have worked. So let's yeah. just set that sucker aside. You saw how I did it. And now I'm just going to lay it down on the floor and let it dry. But I also wanted to show, I also grabbed out these uh, watercolor cards because they come pre-folded and they come with an envelope from Arteza. So I had this one piece that was just randomly around for some reason that I had apparently already mounted on the black. Who knows what happened there? But I thought I would start with that because I can make something cool out of that, right? Yeah. Sure I can. Sure so let's put can. these watercolors away. <laughs> So, when I use one of these larger ones, I take out the envelope and I put it with with it in my mailing box. Like once I'm done with the cards, I have this other plastic box. <laughs> I have so many plastic boxes and bins everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. I mean, look at them. There's so many. Yeah. I grabbed out a few of them, you know, to try to use today. But they're everywhere. They're just stacks of things, stacks of this stuff underneath. This morning I... I was getting rid of the uh, the big 12 by 12 foldover that was in my gel press. Yeah. But look at these pretty little things. I won't throw those away, right? Isn't it fun when you just, I mean, yeah, I was looking at, look I was at looking you. at this piece. I just, I don't know, it was stuck to a piece of something. It's like, oh, I need to, I need to do something with that. <laughs> yeah. So, you I know, mean, components. Yeah, components. Maybe, maybe we're hoarders. I don't know. Maybe I have hoarding tendencies, but geez, I just don't like to throw stuff away. Hi, Vicki. I mean, I do throw stuff away. It's not that I don't. I do always have bins of garbage. Yeah. You know, yeah. from my sorting or whatever, but that doesn't mean I throw every single thing away. If it's got color, I might be able to make it into something. If it's got pattern, I might be able to make it into something. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> So let me see if there's anything here. Oh, this might be a good one to use on here. I like that one. These are stencils by What If NC. If you look in the chat there, Carla is with us today. Hi, Carla. And I'm flipping through here to see if there's any. Oh, this might be fun. Oh, that might. Okay, that might be fun. Um, Could be fun. A fish would be fun. Yeah, I mean, she's got lots and lots of really cool stencils. So, you know, you can check out her stuff at What If NC on Etsy. But, um, yeah, like, if if you're going to do this, all right, if, if we're going to 
use this you want to think about what direction you're going because you know this is corrugated and it's got that weave in there so if i go this way when i cut this it's going to go across here and if i go this way it's going to go this way so if i wanted to do if i wanted to do this one i think i want these lines going in this direction i mean uh uh be fun to have an arch right it'd be fun to have an arch, arch is always fun i was just thinking about a bird i don't know bird arch arch bird i'll do the arch first and i'll do the bird on something else because i also you know the other piece of stuff that we were talking about i also did this which is just a, a piece of that plastic um, packaging and I'll show you how to do this sort of thing so um, yeah that's what I'm working on today and these you know I was cutting these uh, petals or leaves or whatever that's how I'm making these things is with that same same packaging Give me a little contrast. So you can use a lot of the junk you got just laying around. Definitely. And if people send you, I mean, I, I get happy mail sometimes. Uh -huh. And people send you little bits of things. And you're like, oh, I have all these little bits of things. What am uh -huh. I going to do? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is uh -huh. what you do. <laughs> and another thing, to, next month, as you guys probably know, is Abstract August. And that is my absolute favorite daily challenge. Yeah. I love Abstract August. Last last year, I did mostly uh, altered tags. And this right here, this is exactly something you could make. What I'm making on this card right now. This is an abstract piece, right? Yep. Completely abstract. Completely fun. fun and that's something that you could do like in five minutes with all this stuff that you have. And I'm sure we are not the only ones who have all this stuff everywhere. Are we? <laughs> We're not, right? <laughs> I'm sure other people are in the same situation as we are. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea about YouTube reminders and stuff anymore. I mean, they're, they're going their own way. They change stuff constantly, so we can't yeah. keep up. It's it's too much. It's too much to even fuss about. I thought I had a reminder on today's because that's how I find it. Because yeah, sometimes I can't find it when I go to turn it on. Yep. And it didn't have one on, so then I had to go and do like filters. Yeah. Um, we did some filters on the actual channel. This actual channel to go back and find. Because we, we set them up like a month in advance, basically. We just we set them all up so that we know it's coming up. And we can put them in our calendar. And then, they, so they come out early. They don't come out on the day. They come out early. So then if you don't have the reminder on, then sometimes it's hard to find. And yeah. So. Well, and speaking of reminders, the other reminder, you know, so we were talk, just talking about Abstract August. Um, if you guys want to see a really cool hop and fun stuff from creators here in Art Joyous Sharing, uh, we've got a hop coming out on the 1st for um, Abstract August. So check yes. that one out, too. Hoppity hop hop. Hop hop hop. Yep. So we'll that's, have a that's number to kick of off our, our wonderful event, which I love, Abstract August. <laughs> yeah. So what I did is I just um, I just took some black ink and I went through the stencil so that I've got my markings on here. This is the piece of uh, corrugated cardboard. And then I can peel this off. And you see I've got this archway, which is pretty cool. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> and uh, she listens to me. I don't know why, but she listens to me. I said, you know, I think I need some arches. <laughs> arches are good. Yeah. 
So I don't know why so anybody says, would think well, you we can do that. that. You know, so the, the cool thing about doing this is this can be a component of something else. I mean, this could be, you know, a cover on a journal or you could you can make it anything you want, but it also can be a tool. This can be a stamp. It can be something that you use on your gel plate. You know, it, it has multi ways of using it. Now, I did this because I wanted you to see you want something that is not real detailed. This to me was just way too detailed to cut and and to maneuver around. So um, you want something that's kind of big and open because you want to be able to see these corrugated pieces in here. Okay. Hi, Nell. She says sometimes you need to unsubscribe and reset the algorithm bell. Yeah, I've heard that one too. Yeah. Okay. So I've just got a um, utility knife. Any any knife will do. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut around the stencil and when I cut I want to cut towards myself so I can pull the knife and I don't want to go all the way through all of the layers because I don't want to cut out I just want to cut that top surface so that's my first slice around the edge here because I'm going to isolate the arch So I've got, I've got that outside cut. I will come back and cut the inside, but for now, I think I want to start peeling this top layer and see what we've got here. So you're just going to, I don't have a lot of good fingernails, so I'm using a pair of tweezers. You can use whatever. You can use a knife, a pick, whatever you have, and just pull that stuff back. And I want to make sure that I'm leaving those ridges behind. Just like that. Once I get going. And you will find, I have found that some boxes are just glued better than others. I really like the ones that aren't glued real well. So if you got one that's just really too hard to work with, go find another box. I'm sure you got trash like I do and you just work with it, you know. So it's been hot here, so I had to get up early and go out and water before I melted out there this afternoon. I was hoping it would rain, didn't get any of that. But that's the way life goes. Shell's muted, so I'm not sure what she's up to. Oh, I was muted. You probably didn't hear me talk about how many thousands of Amazon boxes I have. Nope, I didn't hear you talk about that. <laughs> I don't know why. They keep accumulating. I think they're like rabbits. Well, I keep some around because, you know, you never know when you're going to need a box or something. Yep. Oh, I And I've been... Um, I've been gathering uh, garden goods, you know, and so I get I get my newspaper and my boxes. And as I get produce, you know, before I can process it, I just put some newspaper in the bottom of a box and put my produce in that and stack it on a shelf in the garage so that I'm not growing fruit, fruit flies in the house, you know. 
that's that's the constant plague. I got to make some more fruit fly traps. This time of year, they're just prevalent. I think this and then I was reading about some of those other places where they have these different flies that are coming out now, and the what are they, the love bugs or whatever in Florida? And it's like, oh yuck. <laughs> I probably need a thanks on there though, or a thank you, because that's what I usually use these for. Maybe just a thank you, thank you. There's some stamps. Maybe I'll get out some ink. Maybe just black, since I have that black right there. Black is always good. Got some new stencils that I cut up this morning. I viciously cut them up. You viciously cut them up? Yes. <laughs> some people would think so. I, I like to cut them up. I, lo I love my cut up stencils. And actually, I have a few where I have uh, the cut up one and I have the original because, you know, the cut up ones will go in a bag and go with me sometimes. And, um, well, have. the ones I really like to cut up are the ATC ones. Yeah. And then I put them all on a little ring together yeah. so that I can keep them together. But you sent me this one. Apparently, you had a duplicate. So I cut it up. And then I cut up this other one that had four, four pieces. Ah. So the mail has arrived. Yay. The mail has arrived. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I had a duplicate. I don't know. I, you know, I go I go online and order stuff. And I swear I only clicked that button once. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? And you open a package and there's like two of something. It's like, well, uh, okay, I guess this is going to be a gift for somebody. Because it's too much of a hassle to send it back for the little bit of money, you know. Yeah. Maybe they just accidentally pulled two of them. I think this one's done. So that started out with like a gel print in the background, maybe, or something. And then a couple pieces of packaging, a die cut that someone sent me, and a little stamped butterfly on tissue. And then this, the word. It's abstract, it's colorful, and it will be good to send. So... No, I yeah. actually I actually looked at the bill and I did it said two. <laughs> so oh, it said it two. Clicked. It was clicked. It was me. <laughs> I did it. You did it. I was guilty. I saw this one. This this looks like uh, it's got texture to it. I believe it is texture made with um, what's that stuff called? Plastic wrap over some different paints guys can see but it went well with this little uh, yellow piece that I found in my stuff yeah. it's just a piece of card stock half a piece of card stock folded in half that's an a2 invitation size card here in the United States very common size so half a piece of eight and a half by 11 uh, which whichever way you cut it and fold it ends up with a four and a quarter by five and a half piece which fits into an invitation size envelope and you can buy those as a pack so that's the size i usually make if you've got a paper store anywhere near you you know like sometimes i used to go to the printers and um they would have all this cardstock and stuff that um, you were paying premium price for in the craft stores, but you could buy it by the pound or by the quantity from the print shops. Yeah, really there, there's a shop here in town that's called Kelly Paper. Yeah, and you can you can even go. They have like they have all their stuff out as. And I, I know this is a common shop. It's not like it's something in Tucson. There's Kelly Papers yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And it, they have samples. They have like samples of yep. all of all the papers. So if you don't want to buy a whole ream of something, you can just go through and pick, you know, two or three pieces of each one. Go up, and they'll give you like a buy the pound price. Yeah, which is nice. Then you can get, you know, three pieces of this and four pieces of that or whatever, and 
you end up with a nice stack of cardstock and you didn't have to buy 250 pieces of each one. <laughs> so I used to do that back in my stamping days. I would. Yeah. To well, we'd, to, we'd go up to Minnesota to go to a, a stamp show and there were uh, like paper source and all kinds of different paper places up there. And you could you could walk in and you can get all kinds. Of, I, I actually got the stationery and stuff for my daughter's uh, wedding invitations up there because the yeah. paper was so much cheaper and I could just run it through and print it myself. Yep. And it was it was great. Um, we'd we'd buy boxes of stuff and just split them up. My friends and I. Yeah. I did that, too, back in the rubber stamping days. Yep. Yep. You split with other people. So what I did was I took uh, just a regular nail file because you got the little fuzzies on there, right? And you want to get those off. So I just took a nail file and, and filed the fuzzies down. And now I want to come in and cut these interior pieces that are inside of the design. Yeah, that was so much fun. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for things to open up and we can actually go someplace and do something fun like that. Barbara, I think we've all forgotten more techniques than we can even remember. She's talking about the plastic wrap mashing technique. Oh yeah. It's I mean it's really cool, but we forget. Yeah. We forget, you know. Well, cuz something else comes along that you got to try and, you know. Yeah. I've forgotten more than I'll ever remember. It comes back. You know, if you start to work on something, it'll come back. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, I remember doing that. Oh, yeah. Well, and the cool thing is once you've done a technique like that and then um, you start, you, you remember it and then you think about another way that you can enhance it even further. Right. Because you've got all these new products and new papers and new stuff that they didn't have back in the day, you know. This was on the card that Peg sent me. That is so cute. <laughs> I cut it out. <laughs> I love that image. It is so cute. It's like this little, little crazy artist chick sitting at her desk. Yeah. I think I'm going to put it on this card and I'm going to color it because that's fun. I just want to get some of this excess off and see she stamped it. She sent it to me. I didn't waste it. I'll color it, put it on something else, send it to someone else. Also, sometimes when I send cards, I, if I'm going to write inside, I just write it on a piece, you know, an extra piece of yeah. uh, paper and stick it inside so that they can use the reuse the card. Because when you spend that much time on a card, maybe you don't want it to go in the trash. Well, and honestly, so quickly. even if they stamp in the card, you can always cut a smaller frame and stamp something and put it over the top of it and glue it down. Yeah. So we've done that over and over and over again and, and recycled and recycled because you know some of those images are really cool and we don't have every single stamped image there is out there on the market so i don't i mean i have a lot of stamps but there's so 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 many and i got rid of so 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 many yeah i know <laughs> because I keep... they were discontinued you know because i was doing stamping up and so i keep calling i keep calling stuff out because you know, most of the stamps that I keep now are more mixed media stamps that are not like that one was an image stamp. And how many times are you going to stamp that particular image um, versus something that's like this, where it's just something that you would use as a design element in a mixed media piece. So I think about that when I when I call and decide, you know, which am I going to keep and am I really going to use that? And I, I really have thought about putting dates on stuff when I use it to see when the last time was that I used it. 
That's a good idea. So that I can, you know, say, well, I haven't used this in two years. I'm probably not going to use it. Um, maybe I should gift it to somebody, you know. And I do that. I, I, you know, I'd like, I have friends that have uh, the same desire to create as I do. And I can very easily gift some of the things that I have loved and enjoyed to those people. And then I know it's going to a good home and I don't feel so bad about, Oh, what's going to happen to my babies. Oh, that's pretty cool. She can sit up on top of that. So this like is just like stamp carving, you know, the, the black area is the area that I'm going to preserve and the cardboard area is the area that I'm going to pull out of there. But this is a good way to make some stamps. And you can do this out of other things too, not just the corrugated cardboard. You can cut your own stencils. You can do all kinds of things. Let's see. What, what have I missed? I don't know. <laughs> That's so cute. She cracks me up. <laughs> Those were some of my very first stamps, stamps by Judith. Um, she had some really adorable designs and her daughter is designing for the company now too. Uh, and they're just really cute, quirky characters. She has really cute quotes. Um, and she did a lot of animals because they're, they're in Minnesota and they do a lot of the you know, quirky up north type stuff. The moose. And I think the, I have a, maybe a bear. Yeah, a bear. Or moose. something that yeah. I thought was so super cute. And I had bought it at a stamp store when I lived in Kansas. There was an actual stamp store in Kansas. Yeah. I don't know that there's that many stamp stores out there anymore. <laughs> This color would be a good choice. I don't know. I think, you know, they kind of combined the stamps and scrapbooking industry kind of combined. Yeah. And when they did that, it seemed like there was more paper that came in than stamps. Yeah, and stickers. So many stickers. Oh, yeah. Stickers and stickers and more stickers. I think it's this color I need. I need this periwinkle color. But I know Shell is like me. We're, we're stamp collectors, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've had to get rid of a lot of them. I can't keep them forever. <laughs> no. Well, and you know when it's time. You really yeah. do. All right. Let's get some color on this chicky pants. I think she's going to have, obviously, skin. Hi, Daisy. You like it? Yeah, I'm just, just cutting cardboard. <laughs> We all have that stuff. Amazon has had a busy year. Yeah, I mean, what else we got to do besides order stuff on Amazon? Well, I'm, I was just grateful so I didn't have to go out and shop in the stores, you know? Yeah. Uh, let's get a little bit of pinky, pinky, pink. Just take it right off the crayon. Give her some pink cheekers. I don't want to get it too wet. You can kind of like get a hold of this. You have to get a little bit fussy when you get into the detailed areas because you want to make sure that you're not pulling a piece that needs to stay. Now, it's not really that big of an issue because you can glue it back. I've done that before, you know, like if 
if you accidentally pull one of these little corners just put a little glue on it and stick it back down not the end of the world So Arizona has been getting a lot of flooding winds. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe the flooding's not so great, especially when people are, are silly and go out into the wash, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, it is so nice to just have rain. Yeah. I mean, monsoon season used to be all about the rain and... The last several years, we've had hardly anything. So, well, you got your share this year, didn't you? Oh, it's still going on. It's yeah. There's uh, clouds out there right now. It has been like this since I got home. Wow. I almost feel like I brought it home with me. Maybe you did. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make some pink. This is the fussy fiddly part. I want to get pink cheeks. Your coffee cup, teacup's probably pink. And there's probably some pink paper. Some green paper. Yeah, see that one? I don't think I got that cut well enough, so that tip is wanting to pull up a little bit, so I'll have to put just a little dab of glue under there. Make sure that that's cut through. Probably get some of this yellow. It's a lot of yellow. Mm. Oh. Don't get on her arm. Trash, some purple papers. Talking to myself as usual. <laughs> I do a lot of that. It's like, did you really mean to do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's probably covered up enough. Give it a little. Uh, so you can, you can see, guys, that I'm seeing the corrugated part under here. I'm just pulling that top surface. I cut her face a little bit too wet in the... Uh, I thought I had a pin here somewhere. The, uh, the ink is smearing a little bit, which... Makes me sad. Well, so I'm gonna fix it. I can't guarantee how long ago I stamped that, or what I stamped it with, or on what. So, yeah, it seems to be on cardstock, and I thought you probably stamped it with archival ink, but now I'm kind of changing my mind a little bit. Well, I'm not sure because you know, back when, back in the day when I. I've got cards that I did probably 20 years ago. Um, and I just, especially little note cards like that, because I did a whole series of just simple note cards, you know, one layer note cards where I could just drop a note in the mail and it didn't have to be anything fancy. It's like a no more than a five minute card, you know? Right. And, I would, give you one of those. and I would gift people boxes of those note cards because people like to have note cards. My mother loved them. So I would make boxes of note cards for her to use to drop a note to her friends. Yeah. You know, back when we used to write each other. Yeah, back in the day. Instead of texting. Now I just text. Yeah. All right. 
I think I fixed up her funny little face. And I think I'm just going to put a uh, thank you on here and call this one done. All right. This piece right here, I think, is also a piece of packaging, maybe. I'm not sure where it came from, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> where did that ink pad go? I think I'll just use black again because I got the black stamped on there. Feels like 98. I'm reading some of the comments. Um, Die cut spray. Okay. Yeah. Texas is miserable this time of year. Humidity. Yeah, we are we are experiencing humidity in uh, Arizona. And we do not appreciate it. And we think you should take it back, Texas. Yeah. Take it back, Texas. There, that's a slogan for the signs, right? <laughs> I almost feel like I should uh, do something with those circles. Well, my brother was heading home. You know, he was here visiting. He was heading back to Oregon, and he got in trouble up in Montana and had to stop and do some car repair. And that was about the time the fires were hitting up there. Yeah, the fires were crazy. Um, when I was in Idaho, my uncle, my uncle and aunt, they just like to drive around. Yeah. Like that's what they've been doing the entire time of the pandemic because you can't go anywhere, but you can drive around in your truck. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. So we, uh, we drove up to the fire that was really near. I mean, not to it, but near it. Up no, but you can still, you know, the smoke and the heat and the, yeah. Yeah, just, we were just driving up the hill and through the fields, and there was lots of deer out in the fields having a buffet. Yeah. And, uh, stuff like that. It was just, it was just for fun, you know, something to do. Yep. Well, I think I'm going to let that one be done, too. I'm going to move on. Moving Let's on up. Got all these. I thought these two actually went together really well. I think I decided that earlier today. I don't know when exactly. But I probably have some sort of, yep, I do have a color that match with all these randomly. Who even knows where this paper came from or when I cut it? <laughs> the pieces of cardstock. I know. I, I keep going through my junk, you know, and I find a really cool piece of paper. And it's like, when did I ever buy that? <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, this, this yeah. isn't stamping up cardstock because it's not as heavy. So it must have been, who knows what, some other. Well, sometimes they did two different kinds of cardstock because they, had, they called one was for layering and one was the actual card base. Yeah. And honestly, we were talking. I was talking to somebody the other day about different weights of paper because we were talking about the transparent stuff that you're gluing down. And I said, "Well, you know what I got here? It's like 25 pound, and I know that they've got 65. And it's you know, you have to have to pay attention to that stuff if you have a specific application for it." That did not go straight. I like this arch. It's turned out really cool. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Carla. Straight, please. Actually, Carla sent me some really cool resin um, crosses, too. That would be cool. My, uh, or put an angel on here, or, yeah. That'd be cool. Lots of things I could do with this. Or just lots use it lots. as a stamp, you know. <laughs> There's 
a bird on the windowsill. Can you hear uh, He's scolding somebody. I was watching um, these guys that are down in Costa Rica. And they're out in this uh, farm watching the macaws. And next thing I know, I'm on Instagram. And uh, the dean of my department pops up on Instagram. And she's taking a family vacation in Costa Rica with her three boys and husband. <laughs> so, oh, I was just watching about that, that uh, country, you know. Uh -huh. That's so cool. I've never been to Costa Rica. Oh, it's beautiful. You know, because it, it looks beautiful. It's yeah. got the coastline. It's got the mountains and the volcanoes. Um, it's I've been looking at it and saying, boy, that's it. That's a destination. Yeah, definitely. And um, the, the people that I was following, they were uh, actually going to these um, farms where they were doing things ecologically that were sound. And it was just, it was really interesting to see the culture and, and what they were trying to accomplish there. But this, this farm where they were having the, they, they took in rescue animals. And so a lot of their macaws were uh, ones that had been brought to them. And they were beautiful. You know, they had the red and the green. And, you know, they're huge birds. And they're just hand feeding them. It's like, oh, that is so cool. And the monkeys. Oh, my gosh. The monkeys. So fun. You know, maybe I couldn't go out to the zoo, but I got to see it on YouTube. <laughs> I follow this this one uh, person on Instagram. Her name is Jessica Parker or something like that. But her her handle on there is Sonoran Desert Rat. Oh, cool. And she did, a couple days ago, you guys should go look at this. So we have this, uh, here in the desert, we have this toad frog situation yeah. that hibernates except for doing monsoon season. And there has to be enough water for it to come out. So they, they have not been out in two years. Last year they didn't come out at all. And mm. they come out into the, the puddles that are made by the monsoons. They breed. And then they hibernate again for another year. Wow. And she had, I mean, I, I find them extremely fascinating. And right now they're they're out in the back wash and they're going, right, grab it, grab it. You know, they, they're just out, they just get out and they play in the water and have a good time and, yeah, you know, have a little bit of mating and then they go away again. And so they're so rare to even see them. So she, well, she went out to Sabino Canyon and... There's a bunch of water flowing because of all this rain we've been having, and she filmed them. Oh. So you guys can go see the, the Sonoran Desert Toad, which is a rare creature to see, on Sonoran, I think it's Sonoran underscore desert underscore rat, maybe. Or maybe there's dashes in between, but it's an Instagram profile. So if you're on Instagram, you can go see. She's been posting, you know, we have during monsoon season and during storm seasons, we have beautiful, beautiful sunsets and stuff like that. Plus everything's oh, yeah. green, like way greener than it usually is. So if you go over there to Sonoran Desert Rat, tell her Paper Rock T.O. Studio sent you. <laughs> yeah, I just wrote it down, so I'll check it out. I mean, that's just not something you're ever going to see, you know. Yeah, well, last okay. year when I went down to Florida to the kids' place, um, they've got these green tree frogs uh -huh. that are so cute. You know, they got the big bug eyes, and they're bright green, and they got the big toads. And um, I walked out to the driveway to get in the car, 
And up on their light fixture on the side of their garage was this green frog. And he was just checking me out. <laughs> it's like, where did you come from? He was so cute. That was not exactly straight. But you know, it's it's fun to go to those different places and see things. Like when when I went down there last year, my daughter took me over to the canals. Um, that there there's backwater along the coast there, and the manatee come up into that backwater. Oh, manatees are so fun. Oh yeah, and so we'd go over there and watch the manatees, the mamas and the babies, and the you know. When I was in Santa Cruz, we went and saw these uh, walrus. Oh, fun. Which, with my son and my future daughter-in-law, whatever she is. I don't know yeah. what to call it. We drove up and went and hiked down, like, in this protected area where you can look over, over the cliff down and watch them. But they don't mm -hmm. really know you're there. Because they were like breeding and stuff. But How fun is that? It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I mean, zoos are okay, but I like to see them in the wild. Oh, well, these guys are in the wild. They, yeah. They don't know you're there. It's just, it's like they've they've protected them by yeah. giving you a viewing point. Yeah. Because they don't want you to interrupt their breeding cycles and stuff by getting on top no, of them. No, no. Bugging them, you know. Right. They were big. And they're making funny noises. They, were <laughs> they do. They do make funny noises. I can't remember the name of that place or I'd tell you. But, uh, it's like north of Santa Cruz on Highway 1. Huh. And it's a, it's a, it's a nice park protected area you know yeah it's pretty cool on these that's why they're hard to work with when you got glue stuck to them i should take better care of my tools ah uh, they're just tools i don't fuss too much my hammer is rusty and it's still hammers yeah they do. You know what this needs is some bling. I'm gonna bling it here in a second. All right. Bring on the bling. Because you know, I got stickles glitter glue right here. I'm gonna bling it up. Why oh, wouldn't you? Time wise. Oh, I should probably show them how to do this fussy stuff is taking longer than I thought it would. Uh, we've still got 40 minutes, 38. According to my clock. Oh, the bling is where it's at, man. I love this particular one, this particular glue, because it doesn't have, it just has sparkle. It doesn't have a color and then whatever. Yeah, color. those are the best. Whatever color you've got, which I put a little bit of that mauvey purple onto the leaves, onto the fern before I put this on. Now it's kind of picking up that color. It's just really cool. I like it. Here's a prime example of ripping something off you don't want to come off. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and stick that down. That was fun. Let's see what else we've got. Got all kinds of stuff here that just it seems like I should use up the, some of the rest of these pieces I tore off the the gel plate stuff. So maybe find a couple more that have colors. That one's pretty cool. That one's already got bling on it. <laughs> Can put that with this. Maybe some of this. 
I get one that's got a lot of blue. I like that one right there. Kind of goes with that. This one kind of goes with this. And this. Could probably use just this with that. already got a piece across it. Should probably do something with that. Maybe this one with this. All right. Those will use those up and that would be good. This is like one that has flowers. Might put some of those flowers on there. I don't know. Let's find some backgrounds. I seem to have a ridiculous amount of this yellow background for some reason. Huh. What do you think you did with that? I don't know. I'm guessing it was probably a swap. Oh, like, yeah. Because I can see oh, that this is torn. They probably had some sort of swap situation going on with that. We used to well, do a lot of swaps. We do, we do kit swaps. Yeah. And you'd, you'd do a sample... Give them instructions, put the kit together, and then send them a kit, and they would put your kit together. Yeah. I even did that in my house. I would have people come over, and I would have a sample and all the, the components needed to make it, and I would have 10 of them in 10 boxes yeah. around the house, and then have people go around and um, make them. It was yep. fun. Did that quite often. It was fun, you know, because you're making something, but you're also socializing, you know. Yeah. Back in the day when we could socialize. Yes. <laughs> and I had snacks in the kitchen, you know, little finger snacks and stuff, and people could eat and walk around, and it was just it was just fun. That goes together. What else do I got in here? Just weird stuff. Who knows? Blue? That's not really the right color blue either. I think it's too light. Don't you? Doesn't it kill you when you do that? <laughs> it's like, this just isn't the right blue. That's when I discovered it. <laughs> because I would look for this certain piece of paper that was just the certain right color, and I could not never come up with it. And then it's like, oh, I think I have an ink pad that's that color. I think I can make my own paper. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Just make your own paper. That could go with that. I don't think I found anything for that yet. One more little loose piece here. I want to tuck back in and glue Ultra. down. So see, isn't that cool, guys? Isn't that fun? Not hard to do. It just takes a little time. And, you know, depending on what you're going to use it for, like this one I put a coat of gesso over and, you know, sealed it up. I actually put some uh, varnish on the back of it because I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for a piece of art, if I'm going to use it to, to, you know, create texture on something. But you have options now because we've created these things. Earthquake alarm? Oh, no. Huh. Every time I think about earthquakes. 1965. Huge in Alaska. Oh, my goodness. Boy, I better check with my brother and see what's going on. Okay. So, 
that's one little, you know, component that you can create. And, you know, I got lots more of this stuff. <laughs> I can create till my heart's content, right? And, you know, even even if you don't have a stencil, you know, just take a take a pen and draw You can draw your image. And then, you know, cut out around just like you did with the other and real easy peasy process. Okay, I'm going to put this knife away before I stab myself. Good plan. I always try to do safety first, right? So that stencil, in case anybody wants to know, is a what if stencil. Uh, and it's called Windows 1. And I like it. Windows and arches, she's got a lot of them. Love them. Okay, so next up is all of this other packaging stuff. You see, I've got I've got a piece of that clear plastic that, um, and then you can put whatever you want behind it. This is just a piece of a map, an old road map, right? Or I can use, like, this is some of the uh, ledger paper. You can just put scraps of whatever you want behind there. Um, but, like these leaves, what I did was I created... the leaf by cutting it out just like this and I just took my scissors and cut some and you know you can do this any way you want to in whatever shape or form you want to um, this stuff cuts really easily Let's see if I got another piece so um, if I want to just Change that up, change the shape of it, cut something else out. It's real easy to do. And you can use your die cuts. You know, that's another thing. Use your die cuts and cut this plastic. It, it works. So that's almost kind of like a little feather shape. All right, and what I did was flip it over and I started applying some color with some stays on ink because, you know, stays on is going to go on non port You could use alcohol ink, anything that works on a non pore surface. Stays on is a good one. So that was orange zest. What else have I got here? I've got some um, claret. Nice color. I'm just going to layer right over the top of that other one. And if you want to blend it out, you can just take a sponge, blend the two together. And this one is blend that one together too. And it stays wet for a little bit. Um, that's okay. That was make sure I got it on the right one. Yeah. That was goth purple. 
Michelle's favorite. <laughs> Purple. Okay. And then, you know, when you've when you've got when you've got your color with whatever ink you decide to use on there, then you can come back and stamp on there too. So if I wanted to let's take one of my homemade ones or what do I want? Yeah. This is one of my one of my carved stamps that I, you know, hand carved. I can take this and I can add other colors to this. Like let's do a let's do a midnight blue. Add some some of that in there, and Why is that stuck to I've you? also got um, this little textural stamp, so I'm going to put some dots and things down with that. Just give it a little more texture, and then I will glue that onto a piece of paper for a backer and get a brush. Got a nice glue brush right here. So I'm just going to take some of that ledger paper and put some glue down. And I will Flip that over and stick it down on there. And that'll dry and then I can cut it out. And then once it's dry and you cut it out, if you heat it, this stuff becomes malleable. And you can um, shape it. But I recommend that if you're going to do shaping of it, that you wear a respirator. Because um, you're melting plastic, remember? So, especially if you're in a basement like me, you probably don't want to be breathing the fumes from that. But, you know, how fun to just take that junk that you got sitting around and turn it into a piece of art. So, these are, these are circles that I cut. Get this out of the way. something down here that maybe you can see. I've got more jelly paper here. Um, no tsunami warming. Uh, wow, eight. Yeah, you can make shakers. Absolutely, you can make shakers. Oh, well, there's all kinds of shapes and folds and all kinds of fun stuff in card making. Yeah, yeah. Tons, tons, so, tons. So this one I did the same way I did the other one, right? And... You can see that I heated it, so there is a little bit of um, doming to this. So if I if I did a frame on this and put it on a page, I could take like some sequins or some rhinestones or something like that and put that behind there. That would be fun, right? Oh, sequins. So for that type of thing... This one's got a little bit of ink on it, so I'm just going to take, I'm going to clean it off. You know, it's packaging. It's not perfect. Oh, Looks like it's been opened. Maybe they're coming off of it or something. Yeah, the weather, the weather around the world has just been changing incredibly.
So it never hurts to get your um, surfaces cleaned off because you might have some oil or something on there. Could be anything. So that was some uh, hand sanitizer. I've got a baby wipe here and probably need to, like this one's got a little bit of sticky where it probably had a seal on it. To clean that stuff off before you start working. Yeah, see right there, there, there's some real sticky on that side. I probably should get a little bit more of that hand sanitizer. Goo Gone works really well. Um, undo, all of that stuff for the sticky situations. But even just even just using it as a window, like if you were going to put a window in a page, you know, cut cut a circle in your journal page and then uh, use this for a window so that you can see through to the to the next page. That's a lot of fun. I've done that before too. Um, so do I have a journal out here? Maybe I should just do that, huh? Oh yeah, here's a let me let me cut a circle real quick. <laughs> I did, Peggy, I did. <laughs> she says I did the impossible. I put the bling back in the packaging. <laughs> it probably won't stay in there very long. So because the way I'm doing this, I would probably do this as a tip in because I didn't didn't make it very neat. Oh hey, why are you not sticking? But I had a, a die cut in a circle form, so I just cut that out. And I can cut another. I think that's what I'll do. I'll cut another circle out of this. So if anybody ever wants to make cards, geez, come to my house. 
have enough stuff to make enough cards to forever. Cards forever. Sorry, guys, I had to step away for a moment. So, let's see here. What do I have? What do I have? So I've done that. Here, pulling that out. Oops. But you can, that. Dang it. you know, use some fancy tape or something and put those pages back in there. And then you've got this. But I also can mount... I also can mount this in here and I can put you know a frame on it. I could I could cut a different color frame on there and put that in there. I can just use it individually on the page like this and then put um, sequins or something behind like if I wanted to here let's do this let's I'm gonna have to repair that because I messed it up Hold on. let's do a bigger one um so that I can cover the edge Got a nice big one here, and I'm going to put some of those colors on here. Get my okay. I'm pick blender. Blend out the line, and let's put some, put some green on here. Hmm, maybe I won't know. Let's be okay. So I got color, just like that. Color's good. Then, let's do a little bit of this other bird here. What in the heck is going on? I think that would be kind of cool on there. So I'm going to grab, you could do this in a color. I'm just going to do basic black because I've got my tool out here that had black on it earlier. Peggy's making bookmarks. All right. And Barb's still making cards. Yeah, I still make cards too, Barb. Gotta make cards. There's always something to, to send a card about, you know? These are funny. And people like getting cards. I like getting cards. You know, it's always fun to open your mailbox and have something personal like that. Okay. 
So I'm just doing this quickly. You guys can, you know, fuss and do your layers and all that. I'm thinking I might want a little color blending on this. And I think I'm going to try to grab a little bit of this. Clean off some of that black. I'm going to grab some of this blue Hawaii. Make it more of a bluebird. Well, dang it. In my new system of organization, I don't know where my acrylic stamp blocks are. Ruh row. <laughs> I do not know. Well, I'll have to improvise. So there's our little birdie. Isn't he cute? And where the heck did they go? Ugh. You know, you can back it with some other paper if you want to. I think I'm going to use the paper that's in the journal. And I'm going to grab some stamps uh, let's do this one I'd like a little text That may not have been designed to be a stamp block, but it still worked. <laughs> yeah, I've used I've used the tops of my uh, ink pads. I've used whatever's handy. You know, it all yeah. works. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta make do if you don't know where your yeah. stamp blocks went. I do not know where they went. Yeah. At this point in time. I've got no idea. I don't see anything that, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that could, that could end up being a problem. That's all I'm yeah. saying. So you can see that now this is the same size as my frame. So when I put the frame on that, it's going to uh, hide the edging. But if I want that to, if I want that to bow, you know, I would heat that and and change the shape of this. But I don't think I want to do that because it's going into a flat journal. So I'm just going to take my glue and. Put that on there. Glue that up on my little bird window. And then see, so you can still take, you know, things like this to decorate the edge of this with. You could still, you know, add this to the top of your page. Um, let's see, is this dry yet? Almost. So you can see I can just cut around this piece. And you can use an X-Acto knife if you want to. You can cut this out however you want. Just try to get up close to the plastic there. Ooh. 
not all the way dry. That's all right. So there you've got another little component. Let's bring that journal back and see what we've got here. Um, Okay. And get some of this out of I've got too much stuff out here. Not laying flat for me. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to put a little glue around here. Yeah. Just like so. <sighs> Got some pretty... And maybe, maybe some washi to clean up the edge there. Washi tape's always fun. the edge of the washi. Yes, uh, Cindy Utter tells me to use more washi. <laughs> use more washi. Yeah. intentional then. Dum dum. All right, what did I do with oh huh. 
Yeah, and then I'm forgetting what I'm doing. And I wanted to put some of these sequins behind there. I'm going to throw some sequins down right there. Where I put my little bird on the page. And they should they should still be able to free flow a little bit there. Let's see if they'll shake down a little. Oh yeah, see they're moving. They'll move around in there. That's fun. And then, you know, when you when you do a tip in, I should have centered this better. <laughs> I need to put this over here. Okay, we can still do this. So what I will do is I will center this on here. And I will fold this edge. Like that. And I'm actually going to fold it back the other way. I think I will fold this up. A little bit more. So you can see the stencil still after it's dry, especially around that. I don't really like that line up there, but there's probably not much I can do about it. Maybe try to blend it a little bit. No, it's not going to work that way because it's going to come over there. So I need to cut that out. I'm trying to get this how it would go. I don't like that, so I think we'll go the other way. Just do it this way. Fasten it to the page. And I'm going to glue this edge so that we've got a pocket here. Um, I want it's just glue stick. No, I've got a glue stick. It didn't hide that far away from me. I don't know what you could do with all this. Let's find out on the scratch paper here. Wonder if you could spritz it. Spritzy, spritzy, spritz, spritz. Get it good and wet. Get this out of the way. And let's get some more washi tape to put that down with. Use more washi. Use more washi. See if that transfers off onto there. Glue this edge Ugh. with my Yoohoo glue stick and tip it in there like that. And then I will take my washi tape and tape that edge down. Okay. 
Oh, I guess we're running over. Oh, we are. Okay. I guess I'm okay. not doing this to you then. <laughs> so, hey, so there's there's the tip in page. You know, you can decorate the back of this, put something else on there. But, you know, there's our little shaker going through to the other page. So that's one thing. Um, I showed you this stuff. You know, how we cut our little uh, piece of cardboard in with a stencil, that one. And then here's one with... Uh, inked up so we made components I made cards <laughs> <laughs> out of components yeah out of components which were just basically junk so yeah so hey guys I want to thank you for being here um, looking forward to the start of August and all the things that are going to be happening in art joy sharing we're going to have a really fun month a lot of fun things going on there. Also, don't forget to uh, go and sign up for the premium membership before the last day of this month, which is what, tomorrow or the next day? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's going to click over. It's going to click, click over real soon. Yep, and then it'll go up to uh, $25 for the one class. Right. So $20 then, for the premium membership. Right. $20, $25 for the one class. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a deal. And it's a it's a whole year membership. So, yeah. so you know, from now on, all the classes will be individual because we had a few glitches. I'm still working with a few glitches, um, but that's why we wanted to start early and use you guys as our guinea pigs to um, iron out the problems before we actually got started. So yes. appreciate you guys for having been there and doing that for us. Yes, definitely. So that's it for us. Bye-bye, guys. Don't forget the thumbs up. Yeah, now check your check your um check your own payment and make sure that it went through because some of them still have not gone through. Okay. And because the way it's set up, they're not allowing me to do that. So they're they're they put it on hold for me, so I can't even refund you guys. So if it, the payment has not actually been taken out of your account, then cancel it and redo it because it's working now. But the way it, it went through originally, some of them did not. So some people have already done that and it's worked out real swell and others, um, they're still sitting in limbo. So I apologize, but that's the system that we're working with. So thanks for bearing with me. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.